Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have another fun fold card that I want to share with you. And this is like an accordion style fun fold card with a little bit of a twist. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have two fun fold card ideas that I want to share with you that I think you're going to love. I'm going to show you how to decorate the outside and the inside and then create a cute little belly band that goes across the card. So that'll kind of hold all the folds down to make it easy for mailing. Now the cards in this video feature the Peaceful Cabin stamp set from Stampin' Up. And this particular set you can get in a bundle along with the cabin dies. So there's a variety of different dies here which coordinate with the stamp set. I'm just gonna be using the stamp set today but I just wanted to show you the dies as well. So here's what the card looks like and I have a cute little belly band on here that will just slide off. And then this is how the card opens. So it has a little flap here, has another flap here on the front, and then this is what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make this particular card but keep in mind that you can use any designer paper that you have on hand. The cool thing about this particular design is it's a great way to use up your designer paper. So for this card, I am using the Peaceful Place designer series paper. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is just grab an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. So that's what I have here, I'm using basic gray. And you're just going to cut it at five and a half. So we're gonna turn it on the eight and a half inch side and we're gonna cut it at five and a half. So we'll have this extra piece here. And you'll end up with a five and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. So this is what we're gonna create the card with. And then this extra piece that is left over here, we're actually gonna just cut off one and a quarter inches. And we are gonna create the belly band with a one and a quarter by 11 inch piece. So you'll have just a little bit of extra cardstock left. So we're gonna start with a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by 11 inches. And so you want your 11 inch side at the top part of your trimmer. Uh, we're gonna make three score lines. So we will start at one and three quarter inches. So just line up the edge of your cardstock at one and three quarter. And then scoot it over to five and a half. And then the last score line is nine and three quarter inches. All right, so we have three score lines here. So I'm just gonna fold on that five and a half inch score line first. And then I'm gonna take this first score line that we made, that one and three quarter inch, and just fold it back on top of itself. And then there's this other one that's on the bottom part of the card. And that one we're just gonna fold back onto itself so that you end up with this overlapping accordion style fold card. So these two are accordion style and then you open it up and you have just a really cool inside to decorate. So this part of the card right here is five and a half by four and a quarter inches. So it's your standard card size. So pretty cool. So let me show you how to decorate our card now. Okay, so let's just open up these flaps here. So we're gonna start by decorating the outside. So the first thing I did is just cut a three and a half by five and a quarter inch piece of my pattern paper. And so this is gonna go on this larger section of the front of our card. So we'll adhere that first. And then this flap gets folded back, so we'll do this flap next. So the next piece of pattern paper that I cut is one and a half by five and a quarter. And that's just gonna go on this little flap here. And for this last section, this is just a one by five and a quarter inch piece of a different pattern of this particular paper pack. 
So I just used three different patterns to create these three different panels on my card. All right, so that's what the front of the card will look like. And now we can open it up and we can decorate the inside of the card. So for the inside, I just cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock, and that gets adhered to this panel. Next, I cut a three and a half by five and a quarter inch piece of designer paper. So this is just another pattern. So I really like this particular paper pack because it has a variety of fun patterns that you can use together. And then the last piece is just a one by five and a quarter inch piece of pattern paper that matches this piece over here. So that way when you open up the card, these two pieces match and then you can add whatever you want in the center there. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little stamped image, my little cabin. I'm gonna add that right on the bottom of this piece of white cardstock. So I just stamped it using basic gray ink, but I thought it was a nice complement to the cabin that we have on the front. So when you open it up, you have the little trees and then you have your little cabin. And then I have enough room up here to write a little personalized message. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is create this little belly band that goes around the card so it holds the whole thing together and it makes it just lay flatter for mailing. And this little belly band just slides off. And then once you slide it off, you can open it up and see all the fun stuff on the inside. And then to close it back up, you just put your belly band back on and it just slides down onto the card. So I'm gonna show you a little tip for putting this belly band on so it's not so tight on your card so that you can easily slide it on and off. So let me show you how to make this. So we're gonna start with a piece of cardstock that is just one and a quarter inches wide and it's 11 inches long. So that leftover piece that we had from creating the base of the card you'll be able to cut this piece from that little leftover piece. So this is what we will use. Now we'll bring our card in here. And what I do is I just lay this on the front of the card, just kind of eyeball, um, you know, the that it's a little bit even on each side. And then I flip it over. And then you want to fold these ends just kind of loosely around the sides of the card. So you want to give it just a little bit of room so that when you slide this on and off that it's able to do that easily. Okay, so now what we'll do is we will just add a little bit of glue to this side here. So we'll just use a little bit of liquid glue and then we will adhere these together. So we'll just give that a second to dry. And that should work. There we go. So now we have our little belly band and it easily slides up and down the card. So you can position it, you know, towards the top, in the middle, um, wherever you wanna position it on the card. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I have a little snowflake. So these are the wonderful snowflakes and they come in a package of 24 and they're just beautiful. So they work perfect for this card. And then I just stamped a little sentiment on a scrap piece of white paper and just cut it out with one of my punches. You can use any punch, die, um, whatever you want to create You know your greeting or your sentiment for your card. So the first thing I'm gonna do is glue my snowflake on. So I want my sentiment kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna glue this thing on right here. So we'll just add a little bit of glue there. And then for my greeting or my sentiment, I just added a couple dimensionals. So you wanna make sure that you add them kind of along the center section of your die cut or your, your punched shape so that 
they are sticking to the belly band and not to the card. And that's really it. So there you go. Now you can just adjust this however you want. And we already stamped the inside. So for the finishing touch, I'm just gonna add a couple rhinestones on the belly band, just over on the side here. And that's it. Isn't that beautiful? So fun and simple, and your friends and your family are just gonna love this fun fold. So besides this card, I did create another card. I just used some different pattern paper so you can see the difference in the pattern paper. It's the exact same measurements, the exact same design that I just shared with you. I just switched out the papers and I switched out the sentiment. You can see that I put this particular belly band closer to the top here so that you could see the trees on the bottom, um, but it's the exact same concept. So when you open this one up, it said thank you on the front. So here's that little belly band that says thank you. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So isn't that beautiful? It just says thank you. Your kindness makes the world a more beautiful place to be. So we have a Christmas card and a thank you card and both were created with the exact same fun fold style, that same design, same designer papers. I just switched out the patterns and changed the look just a little bit. So, so there's lots of possibilities. So have fun with this one. Okay, so there you go. Now you know how to make this accordion style fun fold card. And keep in mind, you can use any supplies you have on hand to create these cards. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the card shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.